welcome back to my vlog i make videos on travel and today i am in jordan i'm in the capital amman i have just reached and i do not know what to expect what it's gonna be like but so far i love the place it reminds me of dubai which is my home and i also like the hostel i have chosen it's called batuta hostel and people are so friendly they speak very good english and they help me a lot with like finding my way about so far and there's also quite a bit of tourists i guess i haven't met any of them yet they might be out during the day but it looks super nice i like it so far so now it's first things first i got to find a shawarma because i haven't had a good one in ages so i'm very excited for this shawarma of my trip but it's not my favorite so far maybe I don't know three out of five Relax. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. <laughs> she thinks any woman thinks there is no hair, but when yeah. he start, you will feel. Mm -hmm. Don't open your eyes until he finishes, okay? okay? You are gonna have to make a surprise for yourself. Surprise? You will not you, you will never know yourself when you open your eyes. When you go back to India, nobody knows. <laughs> Even your mom say, oh, oh, you look like my son, daughter. Do you want to try it? And tell us how you like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes? No? <laughs>
also have entered the Petra Visitor Center and it's very very chaotic, lots of things to do but I'm excited. Now I'm walking towards the treasury. I think it's a super super long walk and there are so many people on the way asking for camel rides and stuff and it's quite intense to say no but I don't know. It's so far really hot and I'm very tired so we will see. Feels like we're in a movie, right? I'm like trying to take two breaths and like, <laughs> like imagine that I'm actually here, but it's quite difficult. This is such a cool place, it's unreal. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Literally, it's so out of a movie. I met a really cool friend, took a lot of great photos together, and there's just so much happening. It's a bit chaos, but really nice. You know character, you know?
this is my hostel. Uh, don't mind my very wet hair. I just had a, a fresh shower after a whole day of walking in the sun. But it's been super awesome. I've been super shy to vlog in this tour because there are just people everywhere and I feel very stared at and don't want to cry attention. Good morning, it's a brand new day in Petra. I haven't been vlogging so much because I've just been super tired and it's been going, you know, insanely fast this trip. But it's awesome, I really love this place. And in day two of Petra, I don't have much to do because I did everything yesterday in one day like a crazy maniac because there is lots of walking inside. Um, but on day two, I'm just gonna go chill. I will do maybe a camel ride, I will take some photos from the top and I will hang out with my Bedouin friends, I hope so. That's the plan, and I'm going pretty early, it's like 7am now and I think it will be definitely quiet till 10 because that's when all the buses and tour guides come so it should be pretty quiet now I'm very very looking forward to it Jordan is such a cool place, like I have to say I'm in love with everything here the food literally is my favorite I think it's also crazy as a solo traveler how easy it is to make friends like in Petra most people were coming in groups so I was like I'm sure I won't meet anybody but luckily I saw another solo traveling girl and we both had no one to take our photos so we kind of paired up and took each of those photos at every spot it was really nice and I think that's actually the main connectors <laughs> for solo travelers because we love to get our shots and we have nobody with us and I think in Amman it's actually very easy to make friends because I was in a walking tour and with three other people there was a couple and there was a um, woman who was also solo and she was like only one day solo because she was waiting for her son to join her so we were just four of us and you're quite an odd pairing I would say like we were all very very different stages of our lives but it was so fun to be together it was really a nice time together and literally it was just so random and we were all from different places one from I think Canada and one from Mexico and then there was me so it was such a great time and this tour the walking tour I did with the guide it was the most craziest tour you would ever expect because it started out very normal right like just showing us some places and the markets and it wasn't actually very informative it wasn't very historical and you know things like that but it got really fun because then he had a lot of like trying on food with us and then um, he also took us to a barber shop where he did threading for us because that's quite unusual I guess the nice thing in Jordan is that the taxis are very cheap like they all are at least one or two JD which is like one or two euros I guess and uh, that's quite nice because most places are not walking distance they're a bit further away and also maybe you don't feel super safe I mean I feel very nice and safe here <laughs> just in the night time I would not like to walk alone so I think I would like get a taxi but it's so nice and people are super super helpful I think generally in the Middle East there's a bit of cat calling that's quite common I guess so so I was on this road in the night time when the rest of my team gang left to their places and I was the one waiting for my Uber and it did not come for ages but the people who were cat calling me they themselves came and came to my rescue and they were like let me help you they found like a taxi for me they gave me internet and they literally got me home safely so they're such nice people here really from what i understood you could do petra in one day as well because if you take the morning bus it's like 6 a.m and you reach by 10 30 and then you can leave your bag with actually any of the vendors there they're so nice they keep it for you the whole day and they don't even charge you like you can tip them but they don't really charge you anything something i've been really meaning to do is to try shakshuka because i really love the breakfast like middle eastern breakfast but it's impossible for me here because every morning i've had either like an early morning bus or going to the petra or some plants and i've never had breakfast in the morning it's unlucky this trip is so so cool like i can't believe i am here it's freaking insane i think um the only one thing that i really really miss 
about having like a proper base and not being around all the time is that you can like kind of curate your outfit and you can also like, keep, leave your bags or choose what kind of bag you have but now it's very much about functionality like you have to have you know all your things together and so it's a bit intense that way to plan out I don't know if you can see it now, but I got this really interesting call in my eyes from uh, someone I met at the shop and he was so lovely and he was showing me how to make scarves and all this stuff and I bought a few little magnets already and I hope after my pet trip I will plan to meet him um, for some traditional Jordanian drink so I'm very excited now that I'm here on a second day, I would actually fully recommend two days because I think one day is not enough to process what you're seeing, like it's so cool and the first day is very overwhelming but the second day I think I appreciate it a lot more and I get to like spend my time and like chill and just not have to you know do and do and just be here This naughty dog won't let me get a photo, it's always photobombing It's also my follower now, we're in together yeah? I am. I really like this call. I'm gonna try it more often because I look like a baddie.